What's up guys? Welcome again to my channel. For today's video, I will show you the refrigeration system. Its components and functions, the pressure, temperature, and the state of the refrigerant entering and leaving the system. Stay tuned and subscribe. Refrigeration. It is the process of removing heat from an enclosed space or from a substance for the purpose of lowering the temperature. It is used to store provisions such as meat, fish, vegetables, and fruits at low temperature so that the product can be frozen for a long period of time, a month and even years. And the refrigerant is the working fluid used in refrigeration system. It is a chemical substance that can be used to make or keep things cold. There are four major or basic components of a refrigeration system. The compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and the evaporator. The refrigeration system starts and ends with a compressor, also called the heart of refrigeration cycle. Refrigerant enters the compressor as low pressure and low temperature gas. And the compressor compresses gas, changing it to the high pressure and high temperature gas. Then goes to the oil separator. The function of the oil separator is to separate oil from the hot gas from compressor and return it to the compressor crankcase. And then, the high pressure and high temperature gas refrigerant enters the condenser. Condenser is a heat rejection device. It cools and condenses the refrigerant gas coming from the compressor into a liquid state. After condensing, the refrigerant leaves the condenser as a high pressure and low temperature liquid. Then, pass through filter dryer. Filter dryer are combination of filter and dryer. A filter that used to remove any particles such as dirt, metal, or chips. And a dryer that used to remove moisture from the refrigerant before it enters to the expansion valve. Expansion valve also called as a metering device that regulates or throttles the flow of liquid refrigerant. And the refrigerant leaves the expansion valve as a low pressure and low temperature liquid. Then goes to the evaporator where heat is absorbed and changes it from a liquid refrigerant into a gas a low pressure and a low temperature gas before it goes back to the compressor there is a suction accumulator installed accumulator is used to prevent liquid refrigerant flood back to the compressor And the system repeated its cycle again and again. 
and there is a thermostat that controls the cooling process by monitoring the temperature and then switching the compressor on and off. When the sensor detects that it's cold enough inside the refrigeration chamber, it turns off the compressor. If it detects too much heat, it switches the compressor on and begin the cooling process again. Thank you guys for watching. Next time, I will show you how to pump down and how to change over the reaper service from number 2 to number 1.